Hey guys, this is Tim Gagno, the fire painter, and last night, for the first time ever, I fire painted with some very special paint brushes that were custom made by Rose Mary and Company brushes. And these brushes are absolutely amazing. They exceeded all of my expectations above and beyond. I can't wait to show you that. I gotta tell you about this because I've, I've just blown away. These brushes are 27 inches. They're that long. They're ridiculously long brushes. Uh, when, I, when I saw them on their website, I said, oh my gosh, these may be perfect for fire painting. I couldn't believe how perfect they were for fire painting. Now, the reason I wanna show you this video is because if they can hold up to what I do to a brush, Rosemary brushes are the brushes that you need to use if you're an artist. If you're, if you're a, a normal artist and you don't do what I do with brushes, which is actually light them on fire, these, these brushes are just amazing. Wait, 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 do you see this? I mean, you guys gotta understand, the brushes I'm about to show you were literally engulfed in flames while they were painting for well over two and a half minutes. That is a ridiculously long time to be engulfed in very big, very big flames. So let me show you this, you guys gotta check this out. Okay, this is a normal brush. This is the normal brush I use, and look at the handle, okay? And you can see the soot. That's where my hand is when I'm painting with these things. I've been burnt more than a few times and I definitely feel the heat, okay? I'll put that one there. Now these monstrosities next to it, I call them the Goliath size brushes. Check this out. These are the Rosemary brushes. Look at the distance. Look at that, I have to back up. Just to show you how big they are. Isn't that amazing? They're about 27 inches long each. Now. Here's, here's my hand now. Before, my hand would be here in the flames. Look at this. Look how far away I can be. I mean, I have, I'm having trouble putting that in the camera. So that, that, that's the first amazing thing about these great brushes. But this is what I'm most excited to show you. Check it out. Look at that. You can still see the logo. That's awesome. Look at the burn on this thing. There it is right there, rosemaryandcompany.com. Let's see this one. Oh yeah, I think you can see this one even better. Let's see here, there we go. Yep, there's the logo, www.rosemaryandcompany.com. But look at that, look, look at the singeing. Look where my hand is. I didn't even feel anything last night. I didn't feel any heat at all. And if you would have seen the flames, there's actually a video uh, Somebody in the audience took a video of me uh, last night. You would see just how much fire there was. Uh, I didn't feel anything. But this is the part I want to show you guys. Uh, look at this, okay? Just to show you the heat on this thing. Look at that. That's electrical tape that's fire resistant, fire retardant. And look at it all bubbled up. Look at that, you see that? So it's wrapped in a cloth that's been dipped in an ignition source. Here's another one. Look at that. Okay. But here's the exciting part. Look at these look at these brush tips. Look at this. Look at this. These brushes the, the reason they're bent like that is because when I when I'm finished fire painting, this bucket here is filled with water and so I throw them in the bucket of water and they were they were sitting like this all night last night. So they got bent, but these brushes are still, these brushes are still good. Look at this. They've still got spring in them. I can take that bend out. I could use these brushes again. I could easily use these brushes again without any trouble at all. I mean, look at this. Now, just to show you the difference, this brush, this, this old brush, this cheap old brush, these have fused together. These have literally melted together. That's not the paint that's dried. That's a melted paintbrush that the that the, um, the synthetic fibers have melted. See that right there? That is the brush melted. The bristles have melted together. They're fused. They're, 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 they're worse. Throw them away. That's why I always use cheap brushes to fire paint with. But when I saw these gigantic brushes from Rosemary and Company, I can't, I can't believe this, guys. This is amazing. I mean, honestly, if, if, if these brushes can withstand 
what I do to them and still be viable, these are the best brushes in the world. I mean, there, there's, there's nothing that can compete with this. This is insane. I, I don't know what to say, but thank you, Rosemary Brushes, because I'm gonna be using these again just to prove a point, and then I'm gonna be getting some more because these are just amazing. Look at that. So guys, if, if you don't believe me, trust me, go to rosemaryandcompany.com right there there's your web there's your web address right there rosemaryandcompany.com go to their website check them out there's the actual right there rosemaryandcompany.com go to that website order some brushes you don't have to order the 27 inch long brushes but if you want some of the highest quality handmade brushes that any artist could wish for Dude, you have got to go check this thing out. It's ridiculous. All right, there it is again. RosemaryInCompany.com. Thank you, see me. Love your brushes. You will be hearing from me soon. Mm -hmm.